Hi everyone, my name is Christian and this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to make the analysis of a mid-surface extraction example. All of this in the MSC Patron and Astron softwares. So, we open the Patron program. And once it's opened, the first thing we need to do is to create a new file. Uh, here I'm gonna create it just desktop and I'm gonna call it mid surfaces. Then I'm going to proceed and import the geometry which we're trying to analyze, the JBox. The geometry was created in SolidWorks and just imported here to Nastron so we could me make a life easier. And Okay, the first thing we need to do is to associate the gussets to the uh, the walls of the box so we can analyze it. And we go here to geometry and we're going to associate a curve with a surface. We select any curve of any gusset we like and for surface we're going to select the wall if it's in it. Then we apply, we can see how all the gussets now are um, related to the wall bo the boxes of wall. And now, in order for us to analyze it, we're going to create a mesh for this box. Create mesh um, sun surface. Make sure the measure is paper and the topology is quad four surface list we're gonna select all of the surfaces that exist here by dragging a box around the whole object make sure you uncheck the automatic calculation and if you have all of the licenses and permissions for using program like this I will recommend you to put a 1875 global edge link but since I can't because I don't have the permissions, I'm just gonna go with a six or seven unit of global edge length. Then we click on apply and we can see how the mesh is done. And now I'm gonna proceed and put the loads. We're gonna create a total load of element uniform and input data just gonna put 0, 100, 0, okay. And the application region is going to be these holes that we created. You can select it one by one, like this, or you can use the shift technique that you have already learned from previous. Um, from previous tutorials. Is the way you want it click OK and we apply okay okay I forgot to put a name I'm just gonna put force in here and apply uh, we can see how it is applied to the holes and now uh, we're going to create a displacement here constraint create displacement nodal uh, the displacement is going to have to constrain the translation and the rotation in all of the axes. So we put zero in translations and rotations. And the application region is going to be these holes in the base of the box, which you can select by clicking here in surface and add one by one, or again using the shift technique. But I'm gonna go with this one. And we click OK. The set name is going to be fixed, not fixed, <laughs> fixed. And that's gonna be all. We apply. We can see how it's now fixed. And the next step is going to be. Let me see. We have created the mesh. We have made the 
forces and now we're going to create the material for this box and for doing so we're going to go here to properties isotropic and we are going to create some aluminum the input properties is going to be uh, 30 to the 6th power 30 megapascals or any unit you like and of 0.3 portion ratio we can we click ok and we apply we can see how, how how we have created the aluminum and now we're going to create a 2d property a shell property and we're gonna select here input properties my prop name aluminum we select aluminum we click OK. Uh, sorry, I forgot something now. Make sure the thickness is 0.25, 125. And the application region is going to be again out of the box. Yeah, we click OK and we apply. Uh, the property set name is going to be box. We apply. Now we have a aluminum box some forces and some constraints lower it now we're gonna do our analysis we go here to analysis full run entire model analysis analyze entire model full run we make sure the solution type is linear static we click apply and yes we can see how the program sends the archive to Nastran, Nastran give it back and it's gonna take a little while now we can click on the X and to analyze it we're gonna go here to the XTV I'm going to select the results file that it created in the desktop or whatever you put it oh my god I can't find it okay I think I, I didn't make the, the XTV so we're gonna go and do the full run again uh, the meshing I think something's going wrong with the meshing it's gonna wait then and apply. We can do we can see the mesh now entire model and apply. It says I can create that mesh. So I'm gonna just keep going bigger and bigger like 20 for example which is a very big mesh but it's what we can use now we try to analyze the entire model yes and now it, it's okay now we're analyzing the box it finished correctly now we go to XTV we select the file that we that the program created and we apply we have we have applied them and now to see the results we're gonna go to create a quick plot of the deformation and we're going to select displacements translational and now we can see how what deformations our box has that's going to be all thank you i hope you have a nice day nice meal and everything nice in your life goodbye